What is up, Need for Speed Racers? It's I, Alex Cornut, your wheelman, and I've got a build video for you. Today we're taking a look at the Volkswagen Golf GTI, I fondly call the Rabbit, uh, in A plus class. It is a grippy boy, and it's very, very viable for A plus. It hooks really well, gets around the corners really well. Uh, it's got a decent top speed. Uh, it, I like it. I drive it often. I think it's very, very competitive. And so, a lot of people are asking for cars that are a little less expensive. This one you can buy right out of the gate. It's not expensive to get. You can build it for both single player and multiplayer. And I think it's really, really good. So let's take a look. Let's dive in and uh, let's see what you guys think. So for the engine, we are currently using the 4.9 liter V8. Uh, this thing has got an uncapped horsepower potential. If you're going to build this car for A or for S Plus, you're going to use this engine because it goes up to 1,200 horsepower. But for myself, I think this car is really good in A Plus. That's where I've got it right now. So you're going to use uh, that engine, the 4.9 liter V8. For parts, you're going to do just the basic uh, intake. You are going to do one step up. You're going to do the Sport ECU. You're going to do just the basic fuel system. You're going to do one step up. You're going to do the Sport uh, exhaust. You are going to go all the way to Elite, because I love Elite forced induction. And you're going to do the centrifugal supercharger. So the Elite centrifugal, like I say, all the way over to the right. Um, for the NOS, you just basic bottle, sport NOS. Uh, for the chassis, as all my builds, we're doing the full grippy boy. And so suspension, road, elite. Um, you do get to put on the sport brakes. This car needs them. Uh, with the basic brakes, it, it doesn't stop. And you need it to be able to stop with a grip build. So do your sport brakes. Uh, full grip tires uh, for our full grip build. So we are elite grip tires. Uh, for the drivetrain basic clutch you are going to put the four speed transmission in it so the sport four speed make sure you install that if you do the five speed it puts it in s class so just keep that in mind uh, so four speed transmission the elite differential you can probably get away with just the sport differential if you're balling on a budget go ahead slam that sport differential in there it's not going to change anything because uh, we're going to be running our slider all the way to the right so sport differential is fine for all your auxiliaries, this is up to you. Uh, near miss and grip is what I always put on there. I've seen some people do grip and draft uh, if they find themselves in second and third place trying to draft a little bit more. Uh, so just do your own personal preference there. For handling, you're going to run the slider all the way um, to the left, which is going to be uh, for grip. So 100% grip. Steering sensitivity, as always on myself, I go two clicks to the right. Uh, do your own thing, whatever you think is best for yourself. Downforce, all the way high on downforce. You can get away with a couple of clicks, high or low there. Uh, that's personal preference. But for myself, um, I think all the way to the right, full downforce is very viable for this car. So go ahead and look into that. Um, and at least get it, I mean, you gotta be th three within three clicks all the way to the right, otherwise it won't uh, stay in A-class. Traction control off, drift entry off. Uh, with that, it's gonna give you a top speed of 174. 0 to 60 in 3.8, horsepower 448, max torque 539, quarter mile 11.5. <clears throat> this car is not incredible off the line. When you are racing in public lobbies online, um, you might have a few people that pass you at the start, but as soon as you get up to speed, this thing is incredible, anything above 80 mile an hour. It turns really good, um, it grips really well, it gets out of the corners very efficiently. It, it's a fast car. So... Uh, just be aware of that. You are going to be playing a little bit of catch up. It doesn't launch as good as I'd like it to, but everything else is very viable. It's one of my favorite cars. Um, definitely check it out. So, this is the Volkswagen Golf GTI 1976. Um, this is another Corn Nut Build video. Please like, follow, subscribe. Come check me out on Twitch. I'm on there almost every day with my pal Dustin. Uh, we kind of stream together and we enjoy each other. We vibe off each other and we crash into each other and we have a lot of fun. So, um thank you so much for coming and hanging out if you like the car and you build it throw a comment down below let me know what you think thank you so much have a great rest of your day bye, -bye.